hybrid development in maize maize is predominantly a cross pollinated crop the different types of corn include flour corn pop corn dense corn flan corn sweet corn maxi corn amelo maize spot corn and strip maize The kernel of the maize has a pericarp of the fruit fused with the seed coat referred to as caryopsis. The ears are the female inflorescence tightly covered over by several layers of the leaves and the cells are the elongated sigmas that looks like tufts of hair at first green and later red or brown. The tassel, the inflorescence of the male flower, monoecious inflorescence, unisexual flower, the apex of the stem ends in tassel. factors of a king hybrid maize seed production when maize is self pollinated it is referred to as inbreeding and after successive generation leads to a weakened plant called inbred line when the two inbred lines are crossed the vigor is restored in the resulting seed and the yield of the plant grown from the seed is greatly increased this is called as hybrid developing a hybrid Hybrid maize is produced by cross pollinating two unrelated male and female plants of different inbred lines. The pollen from the female plant is eliminated usually by physically removing the tassel from the female plant before it sheds its pollen. The resulting seed on the female plant gives rise to a hybrid plant that are uniform in color, maturity and plant height. The isolation distance The seed production plot should be at least 400 meter distance is required between two maize genotype to maintain the genetic purity. Hybrid seed production. Male and female parents are interplanted in alternating rows. They are normally planted as one male row on four female rows. The female parents are detasseled before they shed pollen. The tassels are physically removed or mechanically. Only the seeds from the female plant gives rise to the hybrid seed. It is important that the male and female plants flower at the same time. Drogging. It is the process of removal of the voluntary plant, half type plant, other crop plant, pollen shedders, and additional weed plant from the seed field before the crop comes to flowering. Male parent should be harvested first, then the female parent. Shelling. Female parent should be done earlier than the male parent to avoid the mechanical mixtures. Shelling can be done manually by power operated maize shellers or by manual rubbing. Mechanical mixtures. These can be avoided by taking due precautions during harvesting, seed setting, bagging, and storage operations. Harvesting and post-harvest management. Harvesting should be done at the optimum moisture content of 20% in the grain to avoid post-harvest losses due to the storage grain pests and diseases. The harvested crop should be sun-dried before shelling, and shelling can be done manually or by power-operated maize shellers, and should be kept in aerated jute bags. Maize sheller. This is a machine used to remove the corn's outer shell. corn thresher it can separate the corn from the corn body without breaking the corn cob combine harvester it is a machine that harvests grain crops and also do threshing reaping and winnowing forage harvester drought test for genetic purity 400 seeds were drawn by mixing and dividing method from the seed lot Morphological observations by individual crops like plant length, ear length, number of rows of grain, color of grain, kernel row arrangement and kernel shape and compared with the standard crops. Calculating purity percentage. Genetic purity less than 95% the seed lot will be rejected. DNA fingerprinting. Steps involved. 400 seeds were drawn by mixing and dividing method. By roll table method, seedlings were germinated. Leaf samples were drawn by 20 into 20 matrix bulk method. Hybrid purity testing. Reagents used. Cut the leaf sample. DNA extraction with seed tap buffer. Transferred into a new centrifuge tube. Incubated at 65 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. Centrifuged at 12,000 RPM for 20 minutes at room temperature. 500 microliter of chloroform and isomyl alcohol mixture was added. Centrifuged at 12,000 RPM for 20 minutes. Equal volume of high school isopropanol and 100 microliter of sodium acetate was added and kept in freezer for DNA precipitation. The pellet was washed with 70% ethanol, air dried, 
and 150 microliter of PE buffer was added and stored at 4 degrees Celsius. PCR amplification, PCR cocktail preparation. The reaction in the thermal cycler. Agarose gel electrophoresis. Materials required. Loading die, 10x TB buffer. Reagents used. 0.8% agarose was added to the 1x TB buffer and boiled and cooled in the shaker and ethylene bromide stain was added. Casting tray. Poured into the tray and allowed to solidify. Comb and cellotapes were removed carefully after solidification of the agarose. Kept in electrophoresis unit in 1XTB tank buffer. Loading the PCR products into the gel wells with the Vesica marker. SSR markers are effectively used for the detection of the impurities in maize hybrid and its parental line. For detection of the impurities of the maize hybrid, DNA was isolated from the leaf bits of each column and rows of the matrix, bulbs and total of 40 DNA bulbs representing 20 rows and 20 columns were prepared. The genetic purity with the SSR marker showed 0.5% of text and in GOT test 0.25% of text were observed in the seed lot. The of text detected from the DNA fingerprinting technique using SSR marker profile was verified with that of the contaminants from the GOT. Advantages of the hybrids. Hybrid is uniform in appearance and they have the bigger and it is selected for the improved drying quality and particular hybrids can be selected for specific pest and disease management and drought tolerance and generally high yielding and then open pollinated varieties and uniform in color and maturity and grain harvested from the hybrids have uniformity.